All right, so how we doing, fam? Hope you're all staying safe. Welcome back to part six of Atomic Heart. This is actually the, uh... So I did two sessions so far. The first session was the first video, which I actually had to record twice. I didn't tell anybody that, but I... Uh, part of it, I had, like, copyright issues, so I had to re-record parts of it, but it was, like, during cutscenes, so it really didn't matter. Uh, anyways, uh, parts two through five was, like, the second session. So here we are. Brand new day. Thank you so much for all the like support. Love you all. Let's go ahead and get this. Charles' girlfriend, Charles. Are you referring to Dr. Philotima? That's what I said. Did the cat get your tongue? Do you know her? Dr. Larissa Philotima, MD, has worked with Dr. Sechenov for many years. He entrusted her with one of the most crucial aspects of Collective 2.0, with good reason. She replaced the late Chariton Zaharov in that role. Who's Zaharov? A tenured professor of medical science an esteemed neurosurgeon, and one of the scientists who vanquished the Brown Plague, Chariton Radionovich Zaharov, was also Dr. Sechenov's closest friend and trusted colleague. They laid the foundation for Facility 3826 together. Great, whatever. So what about Falatova? She's a talented neurosurgeon and was Comrade Zaharov's student and assistant. She continued the professor's work after he died. But she is now a criminal and a traitor to the motherland. Understood. It's too bad. She's kind of cute. All right, so let's kind of do like a little button check. It's been a couple days since I last played, so... Anyways, appreciate all your patience. Let's go ahead and see... All right. We need two more of these. So saying, go get the canister from the pesticide shop and then the cold workshop. So I'm wondering... Usually, okay, the other door is closed whenever that happens. So it's kind of like... It's like a limited access type thing. Here we go. There's a charge up attack, but I don't it it spins, which is why I haven't really been using it. Like, see this? It's just it's like that make the camera a little uh a little much. It's too bad how it all ended up. No one ever thought something like this could happen. It was always going to the stars. Sorry, but gotta go. Yeah, I'm gonna try to see if we can. I I'm pretty sure that we're close to getting out of this area. I just want to get outside. That's what I've been wanting this whole time. Here we go. Uh, what? I'm guessing this has to be. Oh, never mind then. What's this crap? That is a sprout. What's a sprout? Sprouts were designed as highly efficient feed for large livestock. But there's something A killer chicken. Now I've seen it all. Oh, what? Are they eating a cow or something? Hold on. I think that's the only way you can go. So, we're just gonna have to go for it. Can't go through there. Alright, here it goes. So the reviews were kind of like... Very polar, I guess. Attracting their attention is not advised. Too late. Oh, they're already... I don't know why I thought they were like... I was under the impression there was no glass there. I couldn't really tell, to be honest with you. All right, let's see. Congratulations, we got one attachment. Congratulations on your promotion, Comrade Zolotukhin. Deputy Director of the Vavilov Complex is a very important position. Right now, our primary goal is to provide the Soviet people with sustenance, which requires great attention. But very, very soon, mankind's first steps into outer space will begin right here as well. As an outstanding botanist, you will be tasked with overseeing the creation of entire systems of plants designed to terraform the surfaces of other worlds. Comrade Sechinov and I had a talk earlier, and we're both delighted that you have joined our team. <laughs> you see, Vic, we do not just want to plant corn on the moon. We want to take a bite of a bigger apple on Mars. 
I wasn't sure if I could back out while listening to that. Want attached files? Also the same thing. Yeah, I don't want to be here all day listening to this. Let's, all right, let's just test this right quick. I'm going to hit play and then back out and see what happens. Comrades. Okay, yeah. We would be here for hours. Oh, the rescue team. Finally. You cannot help me, but there are still people alive here. Say, you shut Sorry. Duty calls. Some other time. I wonder why it cancels like that. I didn't cancel. Maybe I just walked too far away. Okay, looks like we're hopping through here. Yeah, I appreciate all your patience on this. I've just been kind of chilling out playing it. Its is to study how living things can survive in a vacuum. So it's for planting crops on the moon and stuff. Among other things, yes. The research conducted here applies to a wide range of subjects. From primitive single-cell plant life to livestock and other animals. That's something over there. Hold on. What's funny is I just finished playing Dead Space Remake. Like, I finally finished it, and I'm, uh, haven't finished uploading yet, but I, like, <laughs> those things in the wall remind me of that. Very nice. So now we're on the inside with everybody. Okay. So those three enemies that I woke up earlier from eating. How are they underwater like that? Oh my god. Can I just destroy it with this? That's some neat fish you've got in that aquarium. Let's see. There we go. So you can destroy it. I was like, you have to be able to, right? This game is just so different. So we got audio thing here. I like these because I can actually, uh oh. I can listen to it while actually playing the game. Yeah, they're right in front of me. Is it just me or are the guys at Pavlov just selling his junk? You're just not getting it. They've got different polymers over there with different characteristics. We go traits into polymers here, but over there they splice them in. Does that make sense? Don't get too smart, buddy. Or, well, I didn't see that uncut this tongue zest, you know? Yeah, I hear ya. Oh, crap. I keep turning my chirp around with my elbow by mistake. Oh, come on! Come on, heal up! I'm stuck. Okay. I was just trying to heal, but I got stuck in the wall there. I have so much shotgun ammo, I've been trying to, like, conserve it. But, I don't think I really need to now. Ugh, what a goddamn clusterfuck. A lot of the, uh... So, as far as reviews go, people either love it or hate it, it seems like. I'm, like, in the fence where I feel like it is very well done. You know? I can see the beginning's a little repetitive, but I, I know, once you get out like the open world, I can imagine it's a lot, like a lot more stuff to do essentially, you know? Greetings, Valentin Demjanovic. Who? Me? The computer mistook you for the head of this laboratory. Reminder, it is time for you to take your blood pressure medication. Playing an excerpt from an automated recording of your last work shift. I'm so confused. So, are we just... Yeah. What's this dude? Yeah, is attached. Circle of life 
Why do they use the inventory? Their superiors think that propaganda increases productivity. <laughs> so to them. I hope I didn't get anything mixed up. to the manufacturing process. It's where the polymer's organic components come from. Where'd they all go then? To the algae workshop. To undergo polymeric synthesis. I don't even want to know. I had a feeling that might happen. Cause I was, I mean, I saw them open this door apparently. Oh, this feels like it's a boss room, doesn't huge. it? huge. I've never seen so many planners in one place before. This is where they grow the plants that will be used to terraform the Moon, Mars, and Venus. But right now, it's not working for shit. We need to find the control panel. Shit. Nothing but dead bodies. There's a power activation laser relay on the wall. Okay, I can deal with that. But we got I a lot of stuff in here. Used to this shit. You know what game this kind of reminds me of sometimes? Is that game Death Loop? I don't know if you remember that. I, I played that game pretty quick, but I just remember it being like, oh, I think this is the thing we're gonna get. Yeah. All right, so we gotta use this first. Let's see which direction. Okay, we gotta get the two green on top. Okay. That shouldn't change anything. I think it's this is one. That's like the... Uh, now let's move this one on the bottom. And then... That's not going to change anything. What about these? The only one that, like, is different is this one. So now we need to rotate this and it might work. No. Hmm. Yeah, it wouldn't be any different there. I'm trying to figure out what okay. What is actually different here? Because it doesn't seem like unless this, maybe? There we go. Okay, so was the other one. I might have been going wrong about it the whole time. I don't know. Alright, here we go. There we go. So how do I fill the canister? The canister fills with cryopolymer automatically. We just need to wait. That sounds a little too easy. Looks like we've got company. I knew there was no way we could just wait patiently for this thing. Shit. What's the matter with it? What am I supposed to do? The canister will only be filled if an optimal low temperature is maintained in the workshop. The fans blow cold air into the room. They need to stay on and don't let the sprouts fly into the spinning fan blades. Why the fuck didn't you tell me that before? Shit, the fan turned off. Try using shock to restart it. Well, we pretty much need to... One thing I like about this weapon is it's pretty much free ammo. And it recharges over time. So I don't mind using it for now. Because I'm going to have to, like, put this away and let it charge anyways. There we go. Is it just a few enemies? Hold on, I need to check something really quick. Oh, we get a voice thing. Hold on. Comrade Babylon. The graduate students have come up with a new pastime. They're playing tic-tac-toe on the beating fence. 
One of them plants corn, and the other plants tomatoes. And they go back and forth like that. I was going to chew them out, but then I realized it's actually a nice little game. It's like a whole new kind of chess. What do you think about opening an agricultural gaming club? Oh, there's more. Okay, wait. I just see the one. Okay. Okay, there's two. Never mind. Oh, they're... Okay, they land on the bodies. That makes sense. Still nothing. Okay. I could do some upgrades here. Yeah, they're still flying around. Really? One thing I needed to check really quick is, uh, I'll just go ahead and show you. Not load game, but... So, this right here. Sometimes... Here's what's weird. Apply changes and then... Put it back on. So stream remote, sometimes it's like it doesn't doesn't activate until you like apply it over and over. I don't know, at least that's what I've seen. Oh, we're not done yet, so I'm just gonna run around the entire room. I don't think I was alive still. Oh my god, this enemy is so tanky. I think the one I fought that one time, I don't know if it was that enemy or another one. But it took so long. In my first video, I posted it. It got a copyright claim, and I had to redo, like, a few of the sections, so I pretty much played it twice. And got back, so the original part one was gonna be, like, over an hour. But, like, last minute I had to change it to, like, right when the cutscene ended, that's when it started. Okay. Are we missing anything? I keep hearing noises, but, like... I don't see any more things flying around. Oh, wait a minute. Here we go. It might be the last one. At least on this side. Get this one back on. I have to pretty much wait. So it's just like the other area. Where we had to like, go around the room. There we go. I wanted to clear everything out before we... I'm not gonna lie, the pistol kind of goes in. All right, there we go. Hopefully that's all of them. It's probably gonna be like a several part process if I had to guess. Yeah, because there's already more enemies. See that, that song that's playing? There's no way that's like not gonna get hit. Um, what we could do is we're trying to fight stuff as it's running around. Let's see. So, you're kind of just... Uh oh Let's see if we got this. They're going up! I'm just trying to, like, maintain, uh... You gotta be kidding. Hey, as long as they, like, stay with me... Uh-oh. I'm assuming what you could do is... If one goes through it... Gotta turn this one back on. Keep it moving. I'm low on, like, pistol ammo right now. That's why I like this weapon a lot. I 
mean, is it? How, how much more time do we have? Let's see. Okay, that's. I mean, is it not pretty much done at this point? Maybe they all have to be on at the same time. Oh wait, there it goes. We're out of here. Wow. You don't say. Finally. Let's get the hell out of here. Yeah, I'm trying to get away from the uh, music more than anything. I sure love these goddamn canisters of yours. You guys never get sick of shoving them into things. Well, it's a tradition. Yeah, well, maybe you should think about reevaluating your traditions. If I see one more canister. Oh, here we go. All right, let's go to the shop really quick. Uh, we got that. I'll do the shop first. Do you like it here, Sugar? I find this facility so depressing. It sure is. Why? Is there a more cheerful place somewhere? Of course there is, Handsome. Anywhere I can tie up disgusting, horny creeps will do for me. Ugh, you're seriously fucked in the head, lady. Oh, honey, it's the ones with tendrils sprouting out of their heads that are seriously fucked. Not me. So, you didn't like it here because there weren't enough people? There are never enough. I'm so bored. You are a breath of fresh air, handsome. Enter me hard and often. Oh, fuck. That's so weird. <laughs> Alright, I might want to upgrade this more than anything right now. Or what I... Here's what I might do. As far as crafting... I have sufficient resources to use this fox thing, so I might go ahead and craft this. Let's go ahead and create it. Alright, sent to storage. What? I wonder if I have to, like, select which one I use. Okay. So what I have to do, essentially, move that out, move this in. I'm not sure, I mean... I don't want to have too many items at once, but... Like the healing, for instance. I got extras over here. I think we're good. You can disassemble stuff too, which I normally would do that, but this game's so fresh. Auto sorting. There we go. That makes it look a lot nicer. All right, let's see. Did it say what the damage increase was versus the other thing? All right, let's see what this is. See if we have any of this. 189. Okay, so here's what I would like to do. We can either go character route, kind of upgrade stuff as we go there. Um, hold on, which one is that? That's 80. Increases your running speed. Shields you from all damage while dodging, which seems kind of weird because when you're dodging, you're not getting hit usually. Additional dodge charge. So you can double dodge. Uh, dodge, I can't speak. <laughs> double dog. Uh, all right, parkour. Wait, so this is like a tuck and roll? Didn't didn't Dying Light 2 do that as well? Or another game did that. Okay, your suit's built in. Med unit restores more health. Okay. I feel like all that's great, but I also feel like maybe I should try to unlock everything first. You know? Like this right here seems like it would be nasty. Hold on. You lift them up essentially. So let's go ahead and get the other things. Uh, let's see. Install. Put it in the left one. I can only have two things at once, so... I'm not sure. Protects you from melee. What how long that lasts for? Oh, skill. Hold on. Energy management. What is... uh? Really, lost health is recycled into energy. So this is more of like a passive type thing. What is this one? No. I might go character, honestly. So, shock is like the main thing you're going to use throughout the game. That's why it has... I mean, it's in the triangle spot. The other ones you switch between. So, this being the main one, I'm kind of wondering... Effective range. You can return stuff, too, which I think is really nice. Increase, okay, so receive increased damage. I might get that one. 
or not might, but I am going to get that one. All right, let's see. Reduces the cooldown. That's also really nice. I think I'm going to try to stick to the character stuff for a little bit. Maximum health seems to be a very big deal in this game. I think we're good. All right. All right, mass telekinesis. Let's see. Lifts all the enemies in the air. That seems like such a... <laughs> such a good thing. Okay, so to switch between that, so you have this, you got this. If you want to tap up, you switch between it. That is awesome. Oh wait, let me save my game. Fading data. So you could essentially, I mean, I guess the stuff within reason, right? That ain't good. I don't know why, I just fell straight down. I should have, uh... Oh, dear. Two hits! Oh my, and it's fast, too. <laughs> That's so sick. I already like that a lot. We got stuff here as well. I guess you can't. My right ear is just like going crazy right now. Sometimes it's like, hasn't been the same since my right ear. It just ruptured last year. So it's like, ever since then, it's always got a little like, some days it's good, some days it's not. Right now it just randomly like stopped up. So it's more of a, I guess like an annoyance more than anything. It was like one kind of like surgery I could do, but they have like, they like balloon open the tube in your ear. So apparently it's just like not, wait, what am I doing? Why did I hop down here? Large machinery. I guess we're climbing back up. That's right, we fell down initially, but... Yeah, debating about doing that, I don't know if I will. I guess if it annoys me too much, I probably will, but it's like, like the last week I've been fine. All of a sudden, I just randomly did it today. Uh, let's see, we can go... It's like we, oh, we're, we're climbing around the area, alright. That's why that area exists on the bottom. That makes a lot of sense. Look at his hands. I was just outside of my daughter for a while. Uh, looks like we gotta go over here. This has me hyped for if they ever make a Dying Light 3 or like some nice DLC for it. I think Dying Light 2 had a DLC I missed maybe. I'm not really sure. Uh, can I make this? Okay. I actually dashed, but it didn't. I didn't actually need to do that. We're in Shawshank Prison right now, it feels like. Or he's tunneling through the, uh, the septic system or whatever. Oh, wait, let me go back a little bit. Hold on. If I can... Oh, oh that was so dangerous. <laughs> I think if I had to give him an honest review of this game, I can see why people love it and also hate it. Um... People say they don't like the main character, which I don't really know. I mean, we haven't really seen him do much. He kind of talks a lot. But so did, like, you know, you had Aiden from Dying Light, stuff like that. The fact that it's two hits. Well, not two. I guess it's more now. Okay. I'm getting... Oh, I'm just getting chumps. I got it. Oh my goodness. Note to self. Not all these robots are the same. Because... I took down the other one so fast. 
Man, I just have such strong Bioshock vibes. The very, like, opening of the game definitely reminded me of, like, Bioshock Infinite Mix with, like, Wolfenstein a lot. But I don't think I could have said that. <laughs> I didn't know, like, the first one was sponsored, but usually if I like a game enough... Hold on. I thought you could keep them in air while you're healing. This is one of those uh, laser ones, isn't it? I thought it was for a minute. He's wearing like a different type of suit. Or, I don't know. What I like the most is you're getting just like basic. Let me let me ready up everything first. So we got the canister thing already, but we got to get back. Uh oh, here it goes. Got to focus up. <laughs> That's what I had to do. Game saved. I don't like that. Did you hear that? I hear everything you hear, Major. So, what do you think? Crispy critters. Quiet, damn it. There's something dangerous up ahead. And that's my fucking mind. Indeed. But we still need to get that canister of pesticide polymer. I don't like this at all. Shit! <laughs> Are you off your nut? Is this some kind of joke? Shh, shh, shh. You could, you could wake it up at any time. In two hours' time, when the pesticide reaches critical low, it'll wake up. Do you understand? I need a canister of pesticide polymer. There's a canister right there inside. You'll have to find a PA 400 polymer container. We blow the fucker to kingdom come, then you can take whatever you want, okay? Fine, have it your way. But won't the canister be destroyed? Shit! The pump! The hemlock needs to be sprayed constantly. We're almost out of PA-400. You need to find that polymer container right now! Yeah, right, a container. Uh, could you at least tell me what it looks like? It's a yellow kind of, uh, kind of cylinder? Find that yellow cylinder Shit, or that we're thing screwed. Is huge. Why the hell would they make something like that? It was the unexpected result of a bold scientific experiment. You eggheads and your bold fucking experiments. Motherfucker up! Where do I find that yellow cylinder? It's a polymer container, Major. They're always yellow. It shouldn't be hard to find. Fading data. Hurry up, goddammit! 